What's up, everybody? You've probably heard that PHP 7.4 is already available. This is probably the most feature-rich release since PHP 7. Let's take a look at how you can upgrade your code base to make it compatible and quickly introduce new features with PHP Storm 2019.3. But first of all, let's talk about why you may want to update your PHP version. There are three reasons for this. 1. Security. Support for older versions is discontinued sooner or later. For example, PHP 7.1 is now officially retired, and this means that when any vulnerability is found, you will not get fixes and your server will be exposed to attacks, which is a huge risk. 2. Performance. Every new version of PHP brings nice speedups, which you get absolutely free. According to some benchmarks, PHP 7.4 gives a boost of 11% to 17%. And this is not even using preloading, which can give you another 10%. By updating to the latest PHP version, you can also reduce your infrastructure costs. Last but not least, cleaner code. The cool new features in PHP 7.4 can help you write code that is easier to read and understand and is probably safer too. If coding is an art, why not go for a masterpiece? Okay, first of all, let's install PHP 7.4. I don't want to mess with the local installation, so I'm going to go and get it from Docker. I'm adding another CLI interpreter and choosing PHP latest as the image. Let's run a script to check if it works. Okay, the version is indeed 7.4. Now we're all set to go through the new features. The first thing we're interested in is typed properties. In previous PHP versions, you could specify type hints in a PHP doc, but those tags were not a part of the language, and no checks were performed when you ran the code. Now, in 7.4, it is possible to declare the type explicitly. Let's add a type to one of the properties manually. Okay, now we can see an error because the language level for the project is set to 7.3. We can fix this right away in the error pop-up. Now, if some property already had a type doc, then we can just call a quick fix and the type will be automatically propagated to the declaration. The same will work if there is a default value for a property, or if you have type declarations in the constructor where you inject fields. By the way, if you want to add another property and inject it via a constructor, add it as a parameter, and then choose a quick action, initialize properties. Oh, how uncomfortable it is to wait for a light bulb to a clear and click it with the mouse every time. If only there was a way I could do it with a keyboard. If only there was a way. Oh wait, there's Alt-Enter. I have spoken. With previous versions of PHP, it was common to use setters to ensure the type of a property. In PHP 7.4, however, this doesn't make much sense, as setters slightly impact performance, and in trivial cases, don't add any value. So let's go ahead and create our own quick fix to convert setters into assignments. For this, we're going to use structural search and replace. First, I want to define a search pattern. I'm starting with a token for an object, then the arrow, and a token for a method call. I want this to work only for setters, so I'm adding a text filter to specify that the method name starts with set. And finally, a token for a setter argument. Then I'm defining the replacement, the same object token. And now I need to get the property name from the setter method. I'm adding a script filter and getting the name using groovy string manipulations. Now let's see how the replacement will look looks good. We're ready to add a structural search inspection. The pattern was preserved, adding the name, and we're done here. Now we can see that the setters are highlighted, and if I press Alt-Enter, there it is, our quick fix. Cool. If your codebase has any anonymous functions with a one-line body, 
you can easily convert them to the brand new arrow functions. This way, you can reduce noise in your code. Press Alt Enter and choose Convert Closure to Arrow Function. If you had a Use section in the long form, it would be removed automatically when converting to an arrow function. Reading long numbers can be hard. For example, is this 10 million or a billion? And how much is that? In real life, digits are typically grouped to help us read numbers. To support this, PHP 7.4 lets us add underscore separator anywhere inside a numeric literal. Put the cursor on a number, call the quick fix with Alt Enter, and choose Add Number Separators. If it's a decimal number, a separator will be added every three digits. If it's a binary, octal, or hexadecimal number, then every four digits. Of course, you can add a separator anywhere you like if it makes sense for you, but not as a first symbol, and not more than one in a row. PHP Storm will highlight this. Since PHP 7, we've had the null coalescing operator. It is syntactic sugar for the common case of needing to use a ternary in conjunction with is set. It returns its first operand if it exists and is not null. Otherwise, it returns its second operand. Now in PHP 7.4, there is a new shorthand assignment operator with a check for null. PHP Storm can detect where it's applicable and will help you convert a long expression into this short one with a quick fix. There's another enhancement to an existing feature that PHP has supported since version 5.6. I'm talking about argument unpacking with the spread operator. PHP 7.4 brings this operator into array expressions. PHP Storm checks for correct usage of the operator and makes sure you're unpacking only arrays and traversables and not doing anything that is not supported by the PHP interpreter. There's no quick fix out of the box here because there are no general rules for when it should be applied, but let's go ahead and create a custom one. For example, we may want to convert an array merge call with two arrays as arguments. You don't have to add any filters, as PHP Storm already knows that array merge accepts only arrays. So, a pretty straightforward replacement and adding structural search inspection works the same way. Many old features in PHP 7.4 were marked as deprecated. This means that in the next version, PHP 8, which is planned for sometime in 2020, they will be removed completely. It's worth preparing for this in advance. In PHP 7.4, you'll get a deprecated notice when running code with this kind of old feature. Some of them are just not widely used, and others were kept for historical reasons. PHP Storm will strike through all the places that need your attention. Most of them will have a quick fix to update, curly braces for array access, implode arguments order, and typecasting with real, just to name a few. Almost all programming languages compute the ternary operator from right to left. PHP differently it did, which was confusing and could lead to mistakes. Now PHP 7.4 has deprecated left associativity. This means that you should either not be using nested ternaries at all, or, if you have to, you should use parentheses to explicitly declare the order of computation. Put the cursor on the highlighted deprecated expression, press Alt-Enter, and use a quick fix to clarify the behavior. That's it for today. Please like this video if you found the tutorial useful, and share your comments on topics you'd like us to cover more. Take care, and keep the drive to develop.